So welcome back to Fix All Farmer. Today, pretty easy, we're gonna do a how-to on changing your lawnmower oil. And we're gonna do a spark plug change and a fuel filter change and air filter change. So stay tuned on a full service on a Cub Cadet lawnmower. Before you get started working on it, there's a few tools you are going to need uh, to do this. Uh, in order to change the spark plug, you're gonna need uh, two different size sockets. You're gonna need your spark plug socket, which is a little bit different. And you are going to need an eight millimeter socket to take the cover off. Okay, whenever you're changing the fuel filter, you're gonna need a pair of pliers in order to get the clamps off. So this is a simple set of pliers. Use these, a normal set of channel locks, whatever you might need. Then you are gonna need a pair of pliers or a oil filter wrench. Take the oil filter off. And this is the personal preference, always having a marker to mark your filter of when you changed it. So those are the things that you are going to need other than a bucket for sure to catch your oil. And here it is, the Cub Cadet XT1 42 inch mower. Uh, nothing fancy, nothing special, just a good all around good lawn mower. We're gonna be changing the oil. All right, so you flip the hood open here. We had it last year, oh boy. 4-8 of 20. Oh boy, better uh, get everything changed. So here's your, pretty easy here, oil filter, your drain, your fuel filter, your air filter, all in one central location. This little bucket will just uh, catch all the oil. It's gonna come out. We're gonna pop the top so that way you can breathe. We'll pull the cap off. And then we are going to, there it goes, and it's going to drain out. And you see how slow it drains. It'll take it a little while for that all to drain out. So while that's draining, we're going to change the air filter out. Make sure you take this up so that way it can breathe. As you can see, it starts to slow down a little bit. Make sure it can breathe and uh, flow out easily. So we're going to change the oil. Change the oil. We're going to change this air filter where we're at. All right, and then here lies the air filter. And you can see, backside still stays pretty white. You know, it's not terrible, but it comes with a new one, so we're gonna put the new one in. In order to access, because we're gonna change, well, we got everything off here. We're gonna change the spark plug too, because it comes in the kit, might as well change it. So you gotta take all these little, uh, so we're gonna get them four taken out here real quick and pull the top cover off. go now with the cover off you can have a full access of everything on the top now biggest thing is you don't want to get anything in the uh, engine fill so we will just stick the check level cap back down in there here you go and right down there is your spark plug now first things take the wire off now that you have the wire off you need a special socket Made just for spark plugs. Finish backing that back out. And there it is. So there's the old one. I'll show you the new one. And there's the new one. Not much different other than this one's dirty, as you can see. But, uh, so, but we'll get, uh, this new one put in there. Of course, every tractor is going to be different. This one here is in the front. And now we will tighten up the spark plug. Now you just want to get it tight. You don't want to over tighten it because you don't want to break it off. All right. It's not finger loose this time. We'll make sure we got her on there again. And we'll do one more last little quick little turn. There we go. Now, of course, put your cap back on. All 
Okay. Now it's time to get that oil filter off. It's a perfect size. And get her, get her rocking and rolling here. There we go. Now we got it loose, should be able to do it by hand. Yep, there we go, good deal. All right, and then we'll take and dump the oil out of that oil filter right down into the bucket. All right. All right, so now that we got the filter off, the next thing is that we take the, the Kohler 10W30 synthetic blend engine oil that they give you in this. I'm sure some other company probably makes. Uh, here. So what I do is I am a person who likes to fill my oil filters up before I put them on. Uh, this reduces crank over of not having any oil when it cranks. So, it sometimes takes a couple little fill ups. So this is something I've always done. I suggest it for anybody. Uh, that way then there's always oil in that filter. And of course then take that, put it right on top of that rubber seal. Pretty simple. The old righty tighty lefty loosey, and it's on. Now it looks like all the oil has finished draining out here. We're gonna shut it. We're gonna tighten it back closed and close it off. So clean up all the extra oil. That same open quart pull it out see where are we on the stick here there we go let that drain out but you can see it's just about full. So one quart of oil, there we go. Last but not least, the fuel filter. And now you remove these, take a pair of pliers, here. remove these two clamps back, back that way. There's one more clamp up here. Move it back. Okay. Make sure you have your new fuel filter ready and that it's going the right way. It tells you the flow by the angle there. So make sure you always get that right. Make sure you keep your, uh, you're gonna end up smelling like gas no matter what you do. Let me change these. Get that back up there. And then let's try to get this one. There we go. Get that old one out. Throw it outside. And then we will get the new one hooked up here. There we go. So there you are. You got it in now. Now you just gotta get the last clamp back down from way up above it's way back down here there you go thread but other than that as long as it goes back into where it came from there we go tighten them down too so that way they're tight but not too tight Okay, I'll just clean everything up. Make sure you don't have any leftover gas. Your hands already smell like it. And then this is what I mean by right on your filters. Today's date, 
7223. The hours are 201 hours. Oil, fuel, air, and spark plug all changed. So that way the next time you come in here and you look at it and go, oh boy, I can't believe it's been two years already because that's where we were. We were already over three years and 80 hours on it. You know, there's just time flies. You don't think about it, but there you go. Now you're ready to go. Everything's done. Now, some people do write them inside, you know, like inside your wall, inside the inner fender walls. Some people write them in there. It's whatever you want to do. Last but not least, you got to make sure it fires up. So put the choke up. to me thanks for watching today thanks for staying tuned to fix all farmer hopefully this helps you on the next time you have to service your lawnmower now